Hi students, welcome to what we're calling week four of chemistry. This is gonna kind of be a weird week. It's a week before uh, we start the, um, the we're gonna go full distance learning it's next week. So you guys, this is our last week together at, in class and in person. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of take it a little bit easy this week. Um, that way those who are happening for next week have a little bit of a chance uh, to catch up because they don't get as many days as you. So we've split the materials up. So there's a few, very little materials we do each day. And that gives you guys a little bit of extra time to catch up on things if you need to. So for Monday, what we're gonna do at the beginning of class is give you some time to catch up. If you have materials you need to get done for weeks one through three, that's great. You should get those done. The other things that are going on today that you're welcome to do with the last half of class are these three things. The first one is the portfolio review target 3.1. This gets you to go back to your portfolio for unit three and review target 3.1. We talked about targets 3.1 last week, so you need to go and review your materials and interact with your notes and your practices to get some stuff into that portfolio. After that, you're gonna start on some notes. These notes are about ionic compounds. So now we're gonna delve deep into ionic compounds, and this is target 3.2 is what we're getting into. Then there's a practice. Notice it says practice part one. This is a first part of a three-part practice. We're gonna learn a little bit, do some practice, learn a little bit more tomorrow, do some more practice, and then learn a little bit more on Thursday and do even more practice. So just be prepared that this practice set is all gonna go on one page or two pages. It's all gonna be consecutive, and eventually you're gonna turn it all in at the last practice set on part three. Now this lab, Identity of an Unknown Salt, I'm going to have my group one students doing today and tomorrow. We're going to start it today and finish it tomorrow. Group two students and distance learners, you guys are going to do this on Thursday and Friday. And so you can hold off to do that if you're a group two or distance learner um, to do this on Thursday or Friday. All right, good luck.